Hey Bears, and welcome to Berkeley Beat. This week we'll be covering the police brutality protest, a hot new app, Yik Yak, Cal in the Capitol, and our pick of the week, Free Speech Movement Cafe. I'm Kanafi Maizumi, and the Berkeley Beat starts now. On Cal Crimes, on October 12th, a student at the Clark Kerr dorms was threatened with a supposed gun. A student was in his dorm room when two male suspects knocked on the door and asked to make a phone call. They then proceeded to grab the phone and tell the victim they had a gun. Fortunately, the victim suffered no injury. The UCPD are still looking for the two suspects. If you have any information, make sure to contact them. And up next, last Wednesday was the National Day of Protest Against Police Brutality. Students all over the nation rallied against including Berkeley. The protests began at noon with dozens of students rallying together as the initial crowd, with signs painted by the attendees themselves. The protest is really just trying to raise awareness about police brutality, about the reality of the issue. After student leaders delivered passionate speeches, the crowd laid on the ground, mimicking the numbers of people slain by law enforcement. Their names read out loud. This is an epidemic. I mean, it happens every single day. Two people, two black young men are killed by the police. And so now we're just saying no more. This is done. After a moment of silence, the crowd marched down to downtown Berkeley BART station to join the larger demonstration in Oakland. From Golden Bears to Golden Anniversary, UC Berkeley celebrates 50 years since the free speech movement an initiative that left its mark on the entire nation. I got connected with my roommate who had been out surrounding the police car, uh, learned the whole story, and uh, then I started passing out leaflets and talking to people and attend going to demonstrations and rallies, and uh, I ended up sitting in this crowd hall. Make sure to tune in to CalConnect for more information. A new app is sweeping college campuses everywhere. Yik Yak is a new app that allows you to post anonymous comments. We went to Sprout to hear what some students had to say. From what I heard from my friend, there seemed to be a lot of like disturbing content on Yik Yak. It definitely has the potential to be pretty terrible, but at Berkeley at least, it seems like it's okay. There have been incidences of cyberbullying in high schools and middle schools where students have used the app to anonymously post slander of other students. To address these concerns, Yik Yak has prohibited use near high schools and middle schools. And now for Cal in the Capitol, here's our political correspondent, Carlo David. Will the Democrats actually retain control of the Senate or will the Republicans prevail? Political analysts gathered at the Institute of Governmental Studies to discuss the path to the control of the Senate. With nine days left, the Republicans are increasingly favored to retake the control of the upper chamber. However, a lot of races remain to be statistically tied that will decide the Senate. Meanwhile, Democrats have run to energize his Democratic base and guarantee a turnout among African Americans, Hispanics, and women. And now for our pick of the week. This week, we asked viewers to vote on their favorite place to study. The Free Speech Movement Cafe is located at the entrance of Moffitt Library here on campus. It was built in memory of Mario Savio and the Free Speech Movement. I really like sitting here because it's outdoors and you get to see squirrels and it's a lot of fun. So next time you need a break from main stacks, come enjoy a chai latte and delicious cookie at the Free Speech Movement Cafe. And that's it for this week's Berkeley Bee. Don't forget to vote November 4th for the upcoming general election. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, Go Bears!